Well, here we are again out on the water and today we're gonna try something a little different. Um, we're gonna use my favorite tool, the live scope. If you don't know how it works, it basically scans a signal out and it shows you like spots of fish. If the fish is on the screen, it's a spot. Easiest way to explain it, it's kind of like an ultrasound for a, a, on a belly of a baby, you can see through, kind of like that in the water. It's wild, I really like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and try to find some like points and humps and stuff that have fish on them and pinpoint those fish, cast at them, see if we can catch some smallmouth or walleye or bluegill crappie bass. Basically, just going out, learning a little bit more today, um, trying to find some new spots and have fun while we're doing it. So, let's go fishing. right on him we're going down where is he at where did you go fishy fish I'm gonna give her a couple jig jigs he's still out there here we go he's on me nope no he's not Ooh, here he comes. Got him, got him, got him. Look at him, look at him. There he is. Oh, he popped off. Try again. That's my bait. Going up, 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 up. That's a fish going away. We're gonna cast to him. We're gonna try to cut him off right there. There's a bait going down. Jig, jig, jig. There's a fish. Feels like a decent smallmouth maybe. Oh, it's a big walleye. Nope, pike. He's gonna snap me. It goes for a hard run. Jig is in his mouth. Got him. Look at how resilient pike are. This guy's got a gill hanging out that probably still functions. And he ate my lure. He can go right on back. There's a nice one right there. Let's cast out to him. 35, yay. Should have landed by him. Yep, there we go. We're right behind him. He's checking it out. Checking it out. Might have just hit it. Yep. Oh, I missed him, missed him, missed him. He's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Just thinking about it. Oh, that's a big fish, that's a big fish. I'm gonna slow it down right here. Just down on bottom, just jiggle it. Here he comes, here he comes. He's hollering down for it. Hollering down, here we go, here we go. Did he eat, did he eat, did he eat? No, he didn't eat. There's one. I think smacked it pretty good. Oh, it's a walleye. Nice walleye. Come on, buddy. Boat flip. Uh, you're pretty big. Yeah, you're too big. Uh. There we go. 
quiet there for a minute. I didn't really see much. Holy smoke, see these fish right here? About 45 feet. Let's go there, you should see my minnow falling down. Oh my goodness, right on him. Jig, 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 jig. Jig, 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 here it goes. They're looking. They're chasing it, but no bites yet. There's a fish. This one feels good. Nice walleye. There we go on the board again. Hoo hoo wee on the drop shot. Let's go to these ones. That wasn't quite, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be close enough. And all I'm doing is just tap, 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 making that leech work down there. Drop shots down at the bottom. Right above these weeds, about a mom, well, about a couple inches above the weeds. Here we go. I got a bunch of fish down here, and I'm thinking we got some walleyes. Just need to eat. They need to eat. Come on, need it, buddies. Let's go. All over it. All over it. There's one. That's a good one. Look at the whole crew's coming with them. Jeez, that's a good one. Here we go, this is a 25 incher. Let's go. Please don't be a small mouth, I thought I seen you. Oh, it's just a holy hefty walleye. Okay, fair enough, feisty guy. I thought he was bigger, but he's still good. Let's get him in the net. Well, for a little 18 inch, he put up a good fight. Put up a heck of a fight. So there we go. Sharp shooting walleyes on the live scope. That's awesome. Well, let's uh, see if we can't get back out there and uh, make another one eat. Somewhere down in here. Oh, there's a hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, buddy. There's, like if this is another 18 incher, this is just nuts. Like this fish feels good. Oh my goodness. Is it even a walleye? Maybe it's a smallmouth or a pike. Let's look at the scope. Yeah, I can't see them, buddy. Oh, it's coming up, it's coming. Large mouth. Not bad. Not bad. That's a good large mouth too. Drop shouts. Dude, these fish fight like nothing else in here. I mean, for a little 15 inch bass, dude. 
you wanted you felt like a four pounder and you're like a two and a half or maybe maybe three pound bass nah two and a half all day well okay like i said that one was that one was fierce let's see if we can't get a bigger one bigger something some more fish way 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 over there still I don't think I quite reached them, but we gotta. Oh nope, it's coming up. I think I just got smoked. I did. Oh my goodness, that was insane. Before it even got down, that fish came up and just smoked it. What is this one? Huh? You got some shoulders. Oh. oh, oh. I don't know what it is yet, but I got the net ready. This one's dog and it's staying down. This is probably an eye. Come on. Dude, holy smokes. Oh, another large mouth. Okay. Is this the same one I just caught? They're just a school of bass over there. School of bass. Yeah, he hit it super hard. Did I just catch you? Maybe. I don't know. There's a hole right here. Maybe that was the one I just caught. Again, see ya. Wow. All right. Let's do it again over there. All I'm doing with these leeches are letting them stretch out, kind of double back the hook, kind of get two spots in them. That's it. Let them dangle just like that. We got about a foot to our drop shot. And uh, usually you get them in the water right away. They don't twist up the line like how he's twisting on it right now. There he goes. He fell off. But let's get up in the front of the boat. I'm just going to whip up in front up here. And my leech came off. That was great. Perfect hook job, didn't, wasn't it? <laughs> It'll happen on jobs like these. All right, here we go. Another one. Wow, this is fun. Just using my body to just crank them in. And I just turn the chair, crank them. All right, what is this one? If it's another bass, nope, it's a walleye this time. About a 20 incher. Again, another 18 or so. Hey, hey, get in here. Hey, get in here. Get in here, there you go. I don't know how many this is. I've actually lost count. Oh my goodness. When you have this time of year, um, and we're doing stuff like this, the fish are eating, it's working but what about like spinners you know lindy rig stuff like this you know if i were to put that one of those on with like a bullet weight because we're only like 10 foot deep here and like pull it over these weeds would they eat that too it'd be a good learning experience to try i might do that um and just like go back and forth in here but this is working just as well i'm sure that would work but you gotta keep in the back of your head like, okay, well, what if this wasn't working, what would we do? And that's probably another thing that I would do is that. And I did have the jigging minnow. I've been, you know, tossing that around. I actually put the minnow in the water, just at ready, throw them out. I'll do it right now. Let's throw the minnow out there and see if we get the same, same result. So we'll go to the front of the boat. We got the minnow. We're just gonna cast it up there. there there's fish, I don't know. 
wear right now, but we got a little uh, quarter eighth ounce jig. Let it float nice and easy, and then we're just gonna pop this through. <clears throat> and who knows, I might not even get a bite on this. This could, could have been a bite window where they chowed down and now they're over. There's one right there. I really want to set it into them. This one's small. Holy smokes. That wasn't what bit it first, I promise. <laughs> but there's a perch on a minnow. Okay, bye. Now, that's bait fish too. That's what these fish are eating in here. Is that's the forage. But just like that, first cast of the minnow. Boom, little perch. Let's do it again. There's one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was a pike. Second cast with the minnow. It's gone. Did you guys hear that thing ripping? <laughs> and after the last pike I caught too, I did retie my jig. So that one just engulfed it and uh, it going. Retie on another one. We'll put a fresh minnow on. Let's do it again. I wonder if a pause would work right now too. Probably some like a crankbait. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just got smoked. I'm trying to set the hook super hard with this mono because I usually have braid and this one's uh this is what I caught that big walleye on in the, the last Chippewa video was this one. But man, these fish are just nuts out here today. There's one. Oh. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. On the minnow this time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ease off of them just a hair. I don't wanna horse them. What do we got? Walleye. Another walleye, jeez. All right. Now, just like that, you can see we went from leech to jigging a minnow for walleye. Standard good old get up. Well, that's a good one too. Come on, buddy. See you later, buddy. Well, let's uh, just try it again, just out here. Oh, I thought we had one there. There's one. He was following it. Look at that. Look at that rod. Look at them head shakes. Oh, you guys, I love this. Oh, it's funner if you guys do it, though. You want to get up here and get out with me. Get on the website. Let's book a trip. What do we got? Another walleye. That's another good one cookie cutter that one's probably 20 it's probably 19 inches 18 somewhere in that ballpark boat flip no nope, don't want a boat flip he's too heavy i think i only have six pound on here all right another one on the jig and minnow this is just insane all right let's get him unhooked Well, this bite has been absolutely nuts. The jig in the minnow worked. We definitely could pull crawler harnesses through here and catch them. But uh, just crazy little back bay and here they are. Wild. Okay.
Yep, here we go. This should be instant fish. They're out there. There's one. Oh, Jesus. I almost break another rod or a rod. What do we have? This one's coming up the bass. It's going to jump. Oh, no, it's not. It's not going to jump. Don't know if it's a bass or not, though. Oh, it's a walleye. Huh. Walleye came up. Why didn't you jump, walleye? Why didn't you jump? There's the jump. Cookie cutters for days. I think I'm gonna call her a day on the video, guys, and try to do some different stuff. Maybe figure something, another bite out that I can show you guys. Let's get him unhooked. Nice little guy. See you later, bud. Well, that was kind of insane. I mean, the fish just hammered. Um, I did do a little bit of looking around, probably spent another 30 to 40 minutes using a live scope a little bit, checking around, checking around. And then I was looking at the map. There's a nice like hump that came up around the edge of a kind of a point that extends. And then the point from shore extends over here on this side. And in between, it's like 10 foot deep, drops to 20, drops to 20 or so. And then fish are just right up on top of that. So wild. We got some really nice fish today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to hit the, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.